You'll be done upgrading to Citadel and we'll give you all your defenses. We even tell you to build the space stations. Technology conceived. Armed torpedoes. Well, I guess we'll just keep going through this. Sure, basic strike craft, why not? Our construction is complete. And in 50 years' time, we're going to see the actual crisis event. Like, the main crisis. However, I'm hoping to have eaten, like, two fallen empires by then. Hoping. Now the real question, what does Bragatha hold? Does it hold anything interesting? Or is it just a waste of my time? Let us find out. Our construction is complete. How comes along our next upgrade to the Science Nexus? It's gonna be a while. How comes along our traditions? Our That's actually not complete. awful. Technology conceived. Gateway construction. We could activate the L gates at any time, but instead we can now do the repeatable text for this one, because I don't want to activate the L gates at just this moment. Let's get the energy weapon attack speed flowing. A large fleet of Yamor's mercenaries have translated out of hyperspace in the Jinkath system. It looks like all the surviving Yamor's mercenary outfits that were deployed elsewhere when we smashed their last space station and put their differences aside and joined forces. We're not certain how they managed to elude our sensors to reach Jinkath, but they're transmitting a message on open channels. The wretched cowards of the Multic swarm as you destroyed our homes. We shall now burn yours. We have nothing left to lose. You've made certain of that. All you can hope for now is to die in battle and to take as many of your so-called warriors with us as possible, and we journey the great beyond. Where's Jinkath? Oh, there's the Guardian, or the Crystal Guardian thing. Neat. How do you search for sectors again? I actually don't know. Jinkath. Really? Really? Well... This'll be fun. All right, come on. Where's your mega fleet? Ocean beneath the ice. Our situation log is updated. Sweet. When you're done with that, can you just mount a deep sea expedition? It's just so nice to be able to just, you know, Hop in and say, hey, I want to see what's in the deep sea, and here's what I can get. I'll be so shocked if I get gray, because I don't know how gray interacts with hive minds. I don't want to, like, lose access to it if I don't have the chance. Bloody prism. Or the crystal nidus. Or we go or... It looks so nice. Too bad I'm probably just gonna destroy it. Our construction is complete. This is just absorbing power from the pulsar. Probably. Where are all our fleets? Are all our fleets here already? Nice structure ruined. Surprising absolutely no one, our nest structure is ruined on one of these random worlds. Do I know? Not in the bloody slightest. Oh, uh, yeah, so we know these don't disappear. Uh, what do I want to do with this hive world? So... A, before I forget, get a cloning bat. B, I'm still concerned about our food situation. So I'm going to just keep building our stuff up. I'm going to keep building our stuff up, and I will mess with the food situation later, but I gotta see what our food situation's like when all the undesirables are gone. Technology conceived. 
Well, we're actually full on food again. Well, okay, I shouldn't act that surprised. We are playing basically month by month. Sure, for giggles, we'll continue going down this tech tree. Our construction is complete. We will never catch up to the Empire Sprawl. But we'll keep going down it and have possibly the best and the worst administration. It's going to be an administration that is significantly better than everyone else's, but simultaneously, it still is isn't complete. enough for how much we keep expanding. I can just imagine the hive mind. It's, I would pretend the hive mind could still be hungry, but we have to keep selling food because we're producing so much of it from the bloody undesirables. How is the sanctuary ring world coming along, by the way? Is there still a ludicrous amount of people on here? Yep. There most definitely is a ludicrous number of people. What is our actual research breakdown? Okay, it's barely 4k. We actually have more engineering than we do... Well, no, we have more physics than we do engineering, and I'm guessing that's entirely because of the sheer amount of black holes that we're building star bases over. At some point or other, we need to find a black hole and build a matter decompressor. It's just a matter of course, really. Okay, so ignoring Boomer. Right, this would be significantly easier. Rakarus, Thundering. Do you have your Titan ship? Oh no, uh, do you have your Titan ship? No, you do not. You three are all well and good. So, Macabco, I know Yitra is the only place that can build Titans. As of right now. How goes... Shipyard. It would still be over a year. So I guess we'll just upgrade the Teeming Swarm to have an actual Admiral of some kind of Erudite. Yeah, we can hit you up with Gale Speed. And then we'll toss all four of these all at once into the heart of the enemy territory. All of you, I want you to initiate your jump to Brune's Singularity. I know I'm probably going to make the endgame crisis appear in my main territory, but in all honesty, do you genuinely think the endgame crisis can stop me at this point? What goes your starbase? You're building the Black Hole Observatory, targeting uplink computer... I'm not going to upgrade you to a citadel, yes, but I think system. I can get the command center as well. And since your surveys are done, build the starbase. You're going on the deep sea expedition. Why are there 30 minerals? Per you know what? I'm not going to question it. 30 minerals a turn? Fan freaking tastic. Give me 21 months before the energy weapons attack speed's done anyway. Can't wait till I activate the L gates. It's only a matter of time. Multic Swarm is also by far one of the biggest Our ones. Is Speaking of which, we are now officially far, far more powerful. Or at least the game considers us more powerful than the uh, Fallen Empires. And, and, it's primarily through our sheer economic strength. Our economic strength is literally double that of the Fallen Empires. The only one who even comes slightly close is the Tebrig. And I have no idea where the Tebrig are. And quite frankly, I don't care because our economic power is just going to keep boosting because we keep colonizing new worlds and doing it efficiently. If only I knew how to write scripts because I complete. might genuinely Technology write a script. Conceived. If I knew how to write scripts, I'd probably ask 
to write a script to make the AI better at building planets, because that's probably where a lot of the difficulty is lost, is that they just suck at specializing planets. And they just don't know when to rebuild stuff. Why does our... Okay, so our ethics are devouring swarm. We can't get rid of that. Our construction is complete. The natural neural network isn't actually as helpful anymore. So maybe it's time to reform our government. The only one here I would take is ascetic. Ascetic. Yeah, we'll go with ascetic. And actually, I think that allows us to change some of the jobs on this world, on these worlds. Actually, no, we could leave it like this because this actually boosts the output of all of our jobs for the time being. Our construction is and then I could run through and do efficiency stuff later. Your species seems to more grow more and more disgusting with each passing Our day, Voltex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Voltex people emit an aura of unpleasantness. Have you considered what you might have done to bring this upon yourselves? No? I shouldn't actually be talking with food, now should I? Well, we're ready. In 13 months, we'll get our first repeatable done with the energy technology. And then, and only then, may we finally upgrade our cell, or unlock the gates. And then move on past that point. Into the L clusters and see what is hidden here. I could insult. We will not suffer insults special. Behold the Maltics form glorious and bare. For all to admire. Contrast the paltry. Sakarans cowering under their layers of cloth, knowing that the world does not want to see their sad frames. Insulted. Do you have anyone guaranteeing your independence? Yeah, you got no one guaranteeing your independence. You die the next time I appear. I mean, I guess I could mess around in, with the ship designs. We have the Tachyon Lance. What's better, Focused Archimeter or Tachyon Lance? The Lance is better. Yeah, the Giga Cannons don't do much. We have the Artillery Cores. Yeah, no, these are actually straight better. It is expensive to do. Our construction is complete. It is insanely expensive to do. And I'm not going to upgrade them yet, but we could upgrade them all with better artillery guns designed to be used with the battleships. Our construction is complete. But I need to point out, under it, what? Did I just cancel the build queue? Hold on, hold on. I didn't delete a fleet, did I? Okay, no one needs to be reinforced. All right, I'm gonna assume I'm fine for the time being. Oh, hey, the Titan vessel's done, neat. Anyway, what I was going to say, Ship designer. While that is true, I do have to point out the Tachyon Lance. The Archimeter is slower, and sure there's the coin flip with 100% penetration for dealing damage, but the extremely high pierce with everything except the shields. So if you have, say, the Gauss Cannons that strip the shields from them, or if you upgrade them to the kinetic artillery, which strips shields even faster, 
then it'd probably be great. I can understand the naked 100% damage is probably the best option, but I think I just prefer my Tachyon Lances. We also need to upgrade these, so... We also need to upgrade the armor points. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep moving. Well, given that the average is probably around half the damage per... Like, I could probably do the math if I wanted to. Because you just take the average hit and then figure out how many times it fires and that's the damage per second guaranteed because it ignores shields and armor. Because I don't want to auto-upgrade my ships right now because I'm going to go to war right, basically right away. And as we had proven... Much earlier, the auto-upgrade doesn't know how to build a decent ship design to save its life. Because we tried auto-upgrade, and it messed us up. Big time. I also really need... Technology conceived. ...to upgrade, to have the black hole style energy production. Now let's get the Stormfire autocannon. Get that out of the way. And then probably right after we're done in the L cluster, we'll spend our time upgrading. Right. A war breaks out. Let's try it. I'm curious. So our construction is complete. Auto. Where's auto best? Our construction is complete. The end of the day. We're gonna have to ditch one of the shields, but that's fine. We can health tank with another bit, bit of neutronium armor. Our construction is and complete. are the plasma cannons better than the gamma lasers? What they do, yes. Or maybe we can do a neutron launcher. No, we already have one huge shield spike. Yeah, let's get the focused arc emitter, and we'll save it as type gamma. Because well, no, we want the sublight evasion, uh, the sublight complete. speed. Because otherwise, these things are stupidly slow. And now all our fleets need to upgrade. Oh God, do they need to upgrade? I completely forgot this was here. Wait, did you take off a fallen empire? Oh no, that's your Federation fleet! Right! I forgot you guys have that. You guys getting destroyed? Are you at war again? Yeah, you guys just decided to start fighting. What even is this border gore happening to the south? Why can't you guys keep contiguous borders like me? Nice structure ruined. <sighs> All right, we do have a shipyard here. Could this shipyard build me a construction ship? Because I don't want to figure out where my construction ships are, and I'm going to need to send one through immediately to make sure I, and only I, Our construction is complete. own anything at all in the L cluster, because once you open one L gate, they all activate. When they all activate, everyone has access to the L cluster, and I know I've got four of them in my territory, but I think there's like three more in nest the galaxy. I want to know where these nest structures are getting ruined, but hey, that's not my problem. Our construction is complete. We're still spending our time just eating people. And how are you? You are only halfway done. As your traditions. Our traditions are 12 months out, and then we'll gain overwhelming force, which I will gladly take, and then Hunter's Eye. Technology conceived. And we'll be able to get the War Doctrines soon. <laughs> More admin efficiency. Yeah, leader lifespan. Just keep jumping between leader lifespan and admin efficiency. Those are the only ones that really matter. We could boost food output or something similar, but 
doesn't really matter. Now we are almost done consuming our pops. And as it currently stands, I think we actually run into a problem where we're not going to have enough food, so I'm going to have to dedicate at least one world to producing food. And that does terrify me, but hey, we'll see what happens. When we get there, we'll get there. And I could shore it up by just producing anywhere else. I could just find someone new to eat, but that's not sustainable. The hive mind is all about sustainability of our own people. Sure, other people taste good, but we need to still use their blood to farm more populations. Spread it all on the ground, mushrooms, saute it up after chopping up their livers. Delicious. Our construction is complete. But it'll soon be time to breach the owl cluster. God help us because... Yep, all our fleets are now base 5k. Do you not see... Oh god, the game's lagging. Do you not see how thickly our fleets are in orbit? We create a wall in space. Look upon its splendor, all our fleets together. Cannot wait for the owl Technology clusters to conceived. break. Our scientists are now confident that our knowledge of the L gates and the technology behind them is sufficient to abort their maintenance cycle if the attempt is successful. The L gate and the Ushab vortex system should allow immediate access to the distant L cluster as the maintenance cycle ends. Any additional L gates in the galaxy will also become operational within a matter of years as their self-correcting software readjusts. Still, this would give us a significant head start to explore the cluster without interference. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Um... Sure. So, I guess that means... Everyone. Where's the cluster? Cluster? Really? That's annoying. Sure, let's get shield harmonics. Let's get our hit points up, our shield hit points up. Time for us, ladies and gentlefolk, to begin the long trek. The vortex. Uh, this our engineer can also go to the vortex. Brune's singularity upgrade to citadel. You've got plenty of time and toss up double missile batteries afterwards. You're gonna even get your ion cannons done. That hurts. I didn't know it was random. If I would've known it was random, I would've done something different. So, Seeker Vessel, you can get up here, but you will not activate it. No matter what they say, this would be a dumb idea. We might actually hit another... Well, okay, we're going to hit another tradition, but we might actually get to the tail end of supremacy. And then we can move on adaptability and maybe start growing our entire populace again. Oh god, why did I even think about that? Oh no. No. <sighs> we're going to hit the end of all the ascension perks, and the last one I left gives us more housing. As always, we're gonna use the Defragmenter because everything else is arguably garbage. I love the Omnicodex for the G mod point, but the spawn pops is useless. Minor artifacts are interesting if I want to get a bunch of research done. The Yacht Cryo Core, the ship upkeep is kind of irrelevant, and the head of Zarklon. I don't know what a Fallen Empire fleet would end up being, but it'll be really funny if I do use it. There we go. Toss-up Overwhelming Force. You are in dire need of housing and in jobs.
You are just in dire need of a lot of things. You're doing minerals. That's right. I'm just going to force you to build more minerals. Then go with a maintenance depot, and then we'll figure you out from there. You see, the Colossus I want to see one day is a mobile shipyard that has eight shipyard points to it, so it can build a fleet as it goes. The only type of ship it would not be able to build are Titan ships. But that's fine. It, in and of itself, would have the combat abilities of a space station, minus the star bases, as it follows your fleet around. From in there, it can have its own little mini stockpile, so to speak. It would be easily viewable on maybe underneath the alloys or merely clicking on it to see how much it has. Whenever it's in your territory, it refills the stockpile. Whenever it's outside of the territory, it can Our use these alloys to upgrade your fleet as you go or rebuild your fleet as you go so you can have an actual mobile battlefield. Now, of complete. course, with the way combat works in Stellaris conceived. right now, that isn't actually that helpful, but I still feel as if it'd be a funny idea. Can I just... Yeah, I can just bounce you. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is, because it's gonna take all of you a much complete. greater time, you're all gonna jump here, and then you're gonna go up to the job vortex area, because it'll take forever otherwise. I should really abuse the jumps more because our empire is humongous. Or, or I could reactivate another gateway. How much does it take to reactivate the gateway? Yeah, sure, why not? Upgrade to Citadel and then gun, 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 missile, missile, missile. Command. Tom Jam and Target Uplink. Oh, hey, you closed borders. Thank you for reminding me. Go away. Yes? Wait. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, their tech level is still overwhelming. Their fleet power is about equivalent. We can't go to war with them yet. I do so want a war. The real reason I want the war is the Dark Matter Thrusters, the Dark Matter Engine. The Dark Matter Thrusters is a Dark Matter Engine, basically. Those are... Oh, and the Dark Matter Deflectors. All of those would be top-of-the-line Tier 6 equipment for my people to have. You can, in theory, get those as a random technology, but it's not common. Sixty-one months, and we'll be able to get the Hunter's Eye to boost it even higher. Then we get three-dimensional awareness, and then things go s even crazier. So we know the next thing we're getting is we're going to get... Not Galactic Contender, but we're going to get uh, Master Builders, because Master Builders, the mega structure build capacity plus one, and the build speed is amazing. But what is our next thing that I want to do? We don't need Transcendent our Learning. Construction is complete. Vigor seems irrelevant. <laughs> Admin Cap's a funny joke at best. One Vision's also an extremely funny joke, except the amenities usage. Mass structure ruined. And then there's the damage boosts, starbase boosts. What do we want to do? Yeah, no. I think I'm going to actually just genuinely go with the habitat booster, even though I'm not building habitat. Speaking of which, can I build habitats? I've never figured that out. So, do those count as mega structures for the purposes of building? Yeah, they do count as megastructures. Annoying. This is why I want that build speed. 
I want the other ascension perk so I can actually build my mega structures relatively quickly. Our construction is complete. Otherwise, those mega structures take forever. How are you going? Yeah, you'll probably be done before they arrive. Sorry, you'll be done. And it'll be when we arrive there, we'll be activating the L gate in the meantime. And ladies and gentlemen, we officially hit 10k research. Scholars be praised. <laughs>